Good afternoon. I'm Negative Zero, and today's episode is going to focus on asymmetrical. I can't spell it. Asymmetrical rotation, or omnidirectional rotation. Normally in Minecraft, you can rotate in 90 degree angles only, but with World Edit, you can do this fantastic thing where a little bit of math goes a long way. The first thing you need to do is build yourself a structure, as I've done here, and then select a cube around it. Try to keep it as centered in the cube as possible. This is an 11 by 11 by 11 cube. Let's see, at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's correct. So, to do this, you need to do deform. Well, let me show you this real quick. Rotate. 90 right. Oops. Oh, that's for the clipboard. Sorry. I was I forgot to explain that. You copy something, rotate it in the clipboard, and then you can paste it. I have this copied. Well, let's copy it again. Copy. Rotate 90. We go way over here. We change our speed to. There we go. And now we paste it. And that's about it though. We can't rotate it 25 degrees because it must be divisible by 90. But with this, we can. We need to do deform, rotate, two parentheses. In it, we're going to do the axes. By, no by default, you can do X, Y. You can also do like X and Z and have it rotate backwards. Or, or X and, uh, yeah, X, Y rotate backward or uh, Z and X and have it rotate the opposite direction but we're going to do it the default way X comma Z comma now we need I'm gonna copy this we need to know what direction we're going now I worked for a while I've been working on this tutorial for a while and I couldn't figure it out but I found someone on planet Minecraft who did his name is Oceans Rhythm Excuse me, I had to get a drink there. And he actually puts all the major mathematical things in his post. He actually done this type of tutorial I'm showing you textually and included all the math, which I suck at math. There's no way in heck I could have figured it out. And with that, I've got a few of his selections here. 30 degrees is pi divided by 6. 45 is pi divided by 4. 210, 7 times pi divided by 6, 315, 7 times pi divided by 4, and a full 360 is 2 times pi. We're going to go with 210 degrees. So we need to do this command. Deform. Oops, sorry. X, so we need 7 times pi divided by 6. Bam. Check that out. Now take note, it's not perfect. For one, it duplicated the door. I'll bet the bed doesn't even exist anymore. No, it doesn't. But for organic shapes, this is fantastic. But zero, what if I want to rotate it backwards? Or rotate it back to the way it was? Simple. You can do undo. And that will fix it. Or, you can change this to negative. Gives you the same thing. But, it actually re-rotates it, and it can really, really mess it up. I recommend this highly for organic shapes only, like flower petals or something that will look alright if it's a bit deformed, like rotating windmill things. And you have to really use solid blocks. Blocks like this that have directional value do not really work well. And neither do stairs, as I'm going to. I built this house with stairs too, so I'll show you how that works. We'll rotate it 45 degrees. So pi divided by 4, pi 4. And you can see it really jacks up the stairs. Looks really cool, but it, but you know it's not the same house. And that really got messed up bad. Let's undo it. And we'll do that one. Two thin. Let's see if it lets us in. Barely. Same as it was before. And... As you can see, the stairs are jacked up. It would probably look cool with a sphere. Let's try it with a sphere. Sphere. The con we'll make it stone. Radius. Let's give it a 10 by 10. So 10. There we go. 
I gotta get out of here. There we go. Let's replace it with glass. Replace near 25, 1. What's, what's glass? I want black glass. 95, 15. So 95, 15. That looks cool as heck, man. Okay, so now we need to go here. Expand it. 10, right? Oops, that didn't work. Expand. 10, right? 10, left. 10, up. 10, down. And 20, forward. There we go. We have a, full, a solid cube around our selection. And now let's rotate it. We'll do 45 degrees. Well, you know what? Let's do a different degree. Let's see. 315. Seven. Whoops. Okay, so we need to toggle downfall. Turn that off. And now we will go to... three. Let's do 315. 7 times pi divided by 4. So what does that mean format? 7 times pi divided by 4. And we get a rotated sphere, which uh, was an with an organic shape. It doesn't look near as bad as it does with something with structural integrity like a house. Uh, let's do one more. Let's try it with a cube. Let's see, set block. My position one. We'll expand it. Ten right. 10 up, 10 forward. Now we have a cube. Set, coal block. Now we'll rotate it 45 degrees. And you get this. I'm pretty sure it's 45. What is this? Yeah. Which apparently, if you rotate a cube 45 degrees, you get a cylinder which is pretty cool but considering I probably borked that up without giving it extra room let's go here and we will expand it 5 right 5 left 5 up 5 down uh, 5 back 5 down and 5 forward now we have a solid cube around this with room for it to rotate inside of keep that in mind folks you have to keep it inside a cube with enough room to move and we get an actual rotated cube which is pretty cool we could also do it on the XY axis and get it like that or the ZY axis and get this and that's pretty darn cool but that's it for today Thank you so much for watching. This has been Negative Zero, and I'm signing off. I'll see you later.